A solenoid is a cylinder-shaped winding of wire. It's generally characterized by how tightly wrapped the wire is in this cylinder. Those wraps are usually called windings or turns. A solenoid is a useful tool when it comes to generating and working with magnetic fields. Because the magnetic field inside the solenoid, when a current is running through it, tends to be pretty uniform. When you run the calculations for a solenoid, the internal magnetic field should look like this. B equals mu naught, the magnetic permeability of free space, times the density of windings, times the current. For this solenoid here, the density is 505 turns over 0 0.5600 three meters, and the current is 2.5 amps, which gives us a B field of 0 0.0028 Tesla, or about 28 Gauss. So we're going to take a quick look at the magnetic field of a solenoid by sending 2.5 amps of current through it, and we'll measure it using this Gauss meter. about 23 gauss in the middle still 23 about two-thirds of the way through but at the very edge of the solenoid we're looking at about nine and a half according to theory the magnetic field at the edge of a solenoid should be about half of the magnetic field inside. So, this is an effective solenoid right here. In many ways, a solenoid can be looked at similarly to a bar magnet. So, it should behave pretty similarly whenever we have it interact with a loop of wire. So if we bring a loop of wire into the magnetic field, we see a spike. And if we take it out, we see a spike in the other direction. Similarly, it doesn't matter if we move the solenoid or the wire loop. By relativity, the same thing happens either way. When we look at a bar magnet and a loop of wire, the only thing we can really change is the area that the magnetic flux is going through. We can't change the strength of the magnetic field. We can with a solenoid by changing the current. 